Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is actually a mirror invitation. I had done this previously for a princess theme and I'm going to do it now for a spa theme for my dog. And so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna start with uploading an image and then I will go ahead and enter some text. I already have some of the clip art that I'm gonna use already uploaded just to make it a little faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin with inserting my clip art that I'm gonna use. I did this particular uh, file in Photoshop just because it was easier to do the stroke around the name and I also added my daughter's name to it before it just had spa party. So I added that and then um, added the little nail polish brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and press complex, continue, and then I'm gonna save it as a print and cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into my project. So this particular mirror that I'm going to be using, I purchased from the Dollar Tree, and I am going to provide the measurements for you guys. The width is going to be 3.7. Just make sure you click your unlock. So 3.7 and then the height will be 4.7. I believe Cricut took away the option to change your canvas. So um, it will be white, but right now I just need to be able to see. So I'm going to leave it in this gray color. So I'm gonna send this to the back and just continue on with my design. Again, this is gonna be like something pretty simple. That will be blank for right now, but when it gets closer to the party, I will actually be adding additional information uh, that the parents basically will need to know for the party. And then I'm just gonna put, um, you are invited and this is going to be in I believe it's American typewriter I'm gonna change my letter space to zero and I am going to change my color to a print into this blue color right here now you can also decide whether or not you want to add these details on the actual mirror or if you want to add them in an insert in the box or something like that, a tag on the mirror. You don't have to add these details. The one that I did previously was her face that was the mirror part. So now what I'm gonna do is change this to white and then I'm going to select all of this together and then flatten. Okay, I'm gonna to go to make it. I am going to go here and make two copies, apply, and then I will go to continue, send to printer. I am going to use my system dialog box then I will print. Okay, so I'm gonna select to print on glossy paper and at best quality, and I will go ahead and print. This is the paper that I used. It is waterproof. I've used it, again, on these mirrors. I've used it on some clear, like, candle holders for a party. I've used it on the little plastic clear cups that come from um, Amazon that have the lid on them. And I've also used them on paper. So, really good product. If you have any questions regarding this paper or 
um, you know, mirror or anything like that, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.